Insect Nerds, welcome back to another episode of the Insect Nerd Vlog where I talk about all sorts of weird and wonderful inverts but also some other animals like uh, my two white free frogs, Neville and Luna and my crested gecko, Pharaoh. Uh, so today um, I just want to show you something fairly exciting. So behind me I have a tank um, and this tank is not quite ready yet so yes there's not really any lights yet um, and there's, um, I've just started putting the soil in and, and the oak in and I've got some sort of stuff to do to make it a bit more baby proof for these types of insects. You can probably guess, you probably won't be able to guess if you're new to insects and inverts and that's all right. Um, but I'm gonna show you. So I got these in the post this morning. Um, now, so I, f I find it okay to get insects in the post as long as they're posted adequately and they have holes and this person has done it perfectly so I have no problem with it it's just when people do it awfully um, and I, I'm not going to go on a rant on that but um, I probably have in another video um, so today I'm just going to show you if I can um, some wonderful leaf insects so these guys are fully and fully some there we go they're beautiful I might pick one up and try and show you I want to be very careful. Um, the thing is, this tank is great. The only thing is the vents at the back. You can't really see them because it's very dark. But the vents at the back, um, I'm sure the leaf insects can easily squeeze through. So I'm going to have to baby proof those somehow. But something like this is quite perfect for leaf insects because, um, you know, there's some air, but not too much holes. The thing is with things like nets, there's too many holes that let all the water water vapor out and therefore the humidity drops and therefore your insects die you need something that really keeps the humidity in um i would also say um i'm not going to do a whole enclosure sort of show um on this one this is just to sort of tell you what i got in the post and give you some updates about what's going on um uh with vlogging and things at the moment but um a really good thing is we'll probably come back to this in another video is the moss it's great for humidity, mix it in with some soil, it's fantastic. Um, some people recommend putting kitchen roll on, on the floor of the thing, but we'll go into that another thing, reason why I prefer soil. But yeah, just to show you, just a second. I really want to show you, I'll get the biggest one. So I think this one is a female. Um, and how you can tell is it's got a very rounded abdomen. Um, but they're really beautiful, fully, fully some. Um, totally, you know, some people are like, oh, so boring compared to other, like, Philian Gigantia, which I've had before. They're great, Philian Gigantia. They're huge. They're beautiful. Um, but they are very hard to care for com compared to Philium, um, Philisum. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but, you know, we'll see if we find out, won't we? <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, you know, they're, they're very easy. They're not too fussy of humidity, but they still need a quite big level of humidity. Um, but I will probably go through care. I think I have done a care video already, but um, I will probably go through a step by step another time. Um, but I just wanted to show you them because they're really adorable. <laughs> I'm not in the camera. I do apologise. I'm trying to put it back. Well, OK, I can rest in my hand for a bit. But just to sort of update you on what's going on is um, I'm trying to fit some vlogs in, but I'm also working very hard and um, I'm trying to work on my vlog a bit more. I've still got lots of work to do on that. So some of it will look very, not very updated. Um, I want to breed more and, and put some on my website to sell, um, which I will do eventually. Um, but I haven't got anything to sell at the moment, unfortunately. I'm just waiting for insects to breed and stuff. It takes time. It's not something that can just happen overnight. Um, these guys I'm setting up, I'm preparing for uh, sort of spring butterflies. Um, so to raise those um, and for my summer butterflies is what I do every year. I raise butterflies and let them go. Really enjoy it, really rewarding experience. Um, everyone can take part in that. I will do a enclosure setup. Um, I'm not sure if I've done one of my vlog yet. Um, I might have done, but I might do a step-by-step -step guide for you for people new to the Lepidetra butterfly and moth world. Um, I'm keeping um, garden tiger butterfly moths at the moment, if you've seen that on Instagram, but they're fantastic. They're beautiful, they're easy to keep. Um, and yeah, they're just amazing, the transformation, the metamorphosis of butterflies, of insects in general, but butterflies is great. But yeah, this is, there he is. <laughs> But yeah, so that's generally what's going on with me. I'm just looking after my insects and 
and working and sort of just working out what to write on my blog. Um, I, I'm, I'm working on a centerpiece one for you guys at the moment. It's half finished, um, apologies, um, but it will be there soon. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will see what I'm doing too. So this is just sort of a little update video of what's happening. Um, but yeah, I know, thank you for watching. It was a very quick sort of video. Um, and if you want to follow me um, on Instagram and see what I'm going, getting up to and stuff, please follow me at the Inset Nerd 97 If you want to see my website for more information of white tree frogs. I haven't done a Crested Gecko one yet, but I want to. Um, butterfly Care, um, Ladybug Care. Um, please go to www.theinsetnerd.co.uk for more information. And yeah, um, have a good day.